Once your seat is figured out, the next step is to move on to leg position. The two are obviously closely related. When you're sitting correctly, the hip joint is open, meaning it's operating as a ball and socket joint. This lets the leg fall softly around the horse, with the flattest part of the inside thigh flush with the saddle. Knees and toes should be pointing mostly forward, with just a slight turn of the toe to the outside. The knee has a bend, and the heel is positioned so that it's lower than the toe. The hip, knee, and ankle joints are loose and springy, as opposed to tight and locked. Problems with leg position often boil down to a stiffness in any one of these joints. A tight knee and inward pressure on the saddle is like a vice grip on the horse, blocking his motion, and it makes the lower leg nearly useless. The opposite issue is the knee that falls open and away from the saddle. 